a brand new video guys. Uh, today is Wednesday. We are jumping straight into it. So you guys just hit me. You guys just saw me hit 335 pounds for the first set of six. Uh, it's supposed to be an RP of six. So today is kind of like a hump day. Or, uh, not kind of. It is a hump day. It's the middle of the week. Uh, so I would say that like we're supposed to breeze by today's workout. So we have two more sets left. I went ahead and bumped up to 345 pounds. Because 335 was a little bit too easy. So let's go ahead and get the last two sets out of the way. Then do a what? Probably like a shoulder, bicep and tricep workout. I'm not good, so let's work. Putting on two and a half on each side to make it 350 because 345 felt once again a little bit too easy. So I think 350 feet should be the final sweet spot for um, the three by six at RP of six. So that marks three days in a row. Three days in a row without an incident. What I mean is, that's three days in a row without me overshooting on RPE. So I've been like on point Monday, Tuesday was, I was still on point, it was a bad workout, but I was on point with the RPE. And then Wednesday, which is today, we we're on point. So I didn't go outside my means, stay with 350. I could have done 365 at full send, and like that's what I would have normally done. But that's not staying true to the RPE. We wanna, we wanna make sure that we are like on schedule. We wanna make sure we're on track. And I'm like happy. So like tomorrow, we're gonna make it four days in a row. But we're gonna jump into this goddamn workout. Like I mentioned, we're gonna do shoulders, biceps, triceps. I want a full pump. Like I want, I want to be able to look in the mirror and be like, oh shit, this might look good on the gram. You guys are alive. You like super pump. You try to take a little flick for the girl. You know what I'm saying? Take a little snap pick. Be uh, a little, you know. This little thing, you send it to you, like, yo, I'm slipping. Nothing different about today, just feeling a little bit bigger, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's go ahead and cut to this workout. Hope you guys enjoy the views. We got some tough tunes, some tough talks for you. Do one, you already know what to do, let's go. Yeah, yeah. I used to fuck up my re-up. Now it's the jab with my feet up. I got the money and power. Now none of these niggas can see us. I'm rocking furs on first. I'm probably beefing with Peter. I got a pair to leave her. It's probably cheaper to keep her. I keep about 20 racks inside the lamb truck, a nigga sliding dog. I just put 20 racks on his head, the young nigga sliding dog. I get a bag to double. All of that talking ain't adding up. These niggas calling the peace tree. Bitch, I've been turning the static up. Nigga, I'm turning the savage up. Billy Roy Royce in the fleet. Ay, I bet that cannon got reach. I still keep it under the seat. I pop the rubber bands for a living. I might keep the racks in the mink. And I got Fiji on me. She mistake my paddock for the sink. I was in Dallas at V-Live. Honeycomb set is in the chain like a beehive. He say he want the static with a nigga. Seen him in the streets. He ain't trying to be about it. Hey, down on the crib in the series. Blue faces in my mirrors. We got a sprint on hoes coming in. I like my baby just curious. I just ordered up a Rolls Royce truck with the Gucci interior. Hey, when I was bending the block with the lasers. Uh, we have an important service announcement to make. Uh, Martha told me to tell you guys that she's still here. Okay? She saw the comments, she saw the chirps, she knew the streets was talking. They said, Russ, because your girl's in town. 
I said, nah, chill, it's not even that. They're like, nah, Russ, your girl's in town, you know what I'm saying? It's making you weaker? I'm like, nah, chill, it's not even that, but y'all went hard. So I came in today on a mission. I was like, yo, I gotta make this weight look fast so I can make my girl look good. It's not her, she's not the problem, it was me. And that's like a message to you guys. Gentlemen out there, you gotta take accountability, right? <laughs> you gotta take accountability. When you fucking up, it's on you. It's not on your girl, it's not on your situation, it's on you. So today, I don't even wanna tell you guys, did I say before we started the workout what I had today? No, I did, I did. I said we have like a, a smooth single, like an RP of six or some shit. But basically, today's single was supposed to be an RP of six. And I can say that means that like, you know, six and a half, maybe seven. So I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna say that like, I overshot. It was like one of those days where technique was on point. Um, I felt strong enough to maybe pull that for another three and a half to four reps. So I'm not tripping too much. We ain't overshoot. We still, we still three days, four days in a row. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday now. So now we're trying to make that five days in a row, but tomorrow, but I feel fucking good, you know what I'm saying? It's been a minute since you boys been feeling strong. Last couple of weeks I've been feeling a little bit iffy inside the gym, so it's cool to come inside and set shit and like smash up. Smash up decently heavy lift, so. Now we have back downs, uh, my least favorite part of the workout. We have two sets of seven, so I think 500 and, I wanna say like 35 to 545 pounds might be good for the sets of seven that we have for today's workout, so. So I'm talking that shit. I want y'all to, I want y'all to apologize. <laughs> so start start typing. Yo, sorry, Martha, my bad, my fault. But anyways, okay, two by two by seven. RP of six, maybe five hundred and forty-five pounds. Oh, you're going? Okay, awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly not sure if I did eight reps or not. We'll go back and look at that, but um, the two by seven to eight was uh, pretty successful. Now we're about to move on to the back workout. I feel like in a good mood because like I was able to execute on deadlift and now we're transitioning into a body with a workout. So it's like I can take that energy and like just like have fun with it because I still had room left to like really, really go ham. But we stay within kind of the RPE, and then now we get to celebrate with like volume work. So enjoy this. Duhan, you know the fucking vibes. Y'all know the fucking vibes. I want y'all to give Duhan his motherfucking credit. When you talk about the best editors in the game, Duhan's name gotta be mentioned. You feel me? Alright. Let's do this shit. Duhan, cut that shit. Yeah. I didn't go in your shit for a dollar Bitch, bad, oh. They want a problem, not really, but really it's not Click, clack, blow Gather the right. women and children and take them inside right. Bitch, bad, oh. Cry, 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 mama's a cry Good morning Okay, I think the Giants have Pause some nice pieces quick. up So I'm currently watching Undisputed As I made breakfast, it is 9.23 and so this is gonna be the pre-workout meal that we have right here. So this is about, um, I wanna say 40, maybe 35 to 40 grams worth of protein of egg whites. Then we have two strips of turkey bacon right here. And then we also have, okay, this looks kinda of crazy, but we also have oatmeal. So what I have inside of the oatmeal is, we have cherries, strawberries, blueberries, uh, chocolate chips, and that's about it. So this is gonna be breakfast right here. This is what I've been eating for the past couple of weeks. Also, let me show you guys the secret sauce that I've been using when it comes to damn near everything. I put literally honey mustard. I mean, you guys know the vibes, but I don't think you guys understand how much I abuse honey mustard. I put honey mustard on everything. So if you live down south, you know that Whataburger has some of their flavors. They have honey mustard barbecue. Uh, they have this actually in HEB. They have like a partnership with HEB to where they have their signature sauces in there. I'm not sure if you could order this online or what, but this is the sauce that I put on my ground turkey. I even put this on my egg whites. I put this on my chicken and potatoes with shrimp. Like, 
This literally is on everything for every single meal that I consume during the day. So I'm about to pour this on the egg whites, eat breakfast, get ready, head on to the gym, and get a good workout in. We are gonna be benching with Shreddy. Now you guys don't know him as Shreddy. His Instagram is Shreddy Colin, so I just call him Shreddy for short. You know, it's like, when he pulls up, it's like, yo, Shreddy! You know, but uh, we're benching with Ben today. That's his actual name. We're benching with Ben today. Uh, it's not gonna be anything extravagant. I think it's just like a three by five at RP of seven. Probably gonna be like 355 pounds to 365 pounds. But um, I think, hopefully I'm gonna have my coach, Joey Flex, kind of explain the reason why my bench has kind of like gone up a little bit. I don't know if you guys have noticed, some of the people that have been subscribed to my channel for a little bit longer will be able to tell, but I've actually, my, my bench has increased a, a tad bit. Like, hitting the numbers that I've been hitting for the last couple of weeks has been a little bit new to me. Uh, 405 pounds seems to be routine now, which it wasn't before. 365 pounds is more so like a weight that I would hit for a single, like 365, 385 pounds. Those were like the weights that I was hitting for a single. Now I'm doing this for consistent rep work. Like to go into a session and say, I think I'll hit 365 for a comfortable set of five today is completely new to me. So hopefully I'll have my coach kind of explain some of the things that are going on right now with bench. I mean, I did move my grip out a little bit. Like just, I moved from my my uh, ring finger to my middle finger, just moved it out a little bit. Also changed my foot placement. My feet are no longer under me they're actually i want to say i think like in front of me so it allows the allows my arch to be accentuated a little bit and, and allows me to take advantage of that so uh when we get to the gym i'm gonna start working out obviously i'm gonna get in with my, with my boy shreddy get to business but it's new music friday as well there's a lot of new music that has come out today uh we have revenge of the dreamers 3 the uncut i mean the the director's cut version has come out we have some new eminem i'm not really keen on eminem eminem m n M and M M and M. It's really hard for me to say that. I'm not too keen on him, so like I'm probably I like I listened to two songs off the album. I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna listen to this shit no more. We also have Mac Miller's uh, album that came out as well. I don't think I'm gonna be listening to that anytime soon, just because like it's very uh, melancholy, it's very like gloomy. So I don't want li to listen to that as I'm like getting ready or at the gym. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna hold that off until later. But uh, yeah, I look forward to today. I just feel like today is like a little bit gloomy, but I feel like I'm in a good mood because like there's a lot of things that are moving on. I got a good quote for the gym in terms of getting like the, the inside office kind of like decorated and fixed up and getting work done on that. Also setting up Wi-Fi electricity inside of the gym because I want to move the operations to get better today from where the space that I'm sharing with Shali over uh, on the other side of town over to Corruption Strength. So hopefully we get that done by mid next week. And uh, we're, we're, there's a lot of other stuff going on that I'm um, working on. Got some new designs for Get Better Today. Going to California next Saturday. So I'm gonna be saying this later on in the video as well, but I will be going to California next Saturday for the LA Fit Expo weekend for with BPN. We're not gonna be in the actual expo. We're gonna be having a pop-up shop. So there's gonna be a pop-up shop in Venice Beach that you guys can RSVP for. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know about it, but you can RSVP by clicking the link in my description box. Uh, if you guys wanna pull up, meet me, some of the other athletes, I'd say do it because it's gonna be live uh, and you can escape the rowdiness of like the actual expo itself. So I'll catch you guys later at the gym. Just wanted to give you an update before we get inside and get to business. Man, I get more butt than ass trays. The fair one, I get mine the fast way. Ski mass way, and you can ransom no. Far from handsome, but damn, I get the throat. More guns than roses, foes is shaking in their boots. A visible bully, like the gooch disappear, Van Moose, you whack to me. Take them rhymes back to the factory. I see the gimmicks, the whack lyrics, the shit is depressing. Then it, please forget it. You're mad, cuz my style, you're admiring. Bad UPS is hiring. You should have been the cop. Hip hop with that freestyle, you're bound to get shot. Not from Houston, but I rap a lot. Pack the gap a lot. The flame's about to drop. Pick up the brand new flavor in your ear. Time for new flavor in your ear. A little bit more pocket work. Oh, me would have said 385. <laughs> I'm going to stay in the pocket. That's five days in a row now. Oh me would have said, yo, 365 going too smooth, I'm on 385, but that would have been a mistake. New me's acting different. We on track every day, five days a week. Well, six days a week. Sunday we rest. Gotta, you know, 
Got to rejuvenate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Damn. Whoa, shit. Camera spot. Camera spot. That's how we fucking move in 2020. No more games. You see this? I'm really about that shit. You see this? Five dollars the wrist. But the saying is priceless. You're I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like zoned out and had, it was like a weird moment. You guys are not here like physically with me inside of the gym, so you don't know the stuff that I'm doing in between sets and shit that's just not caught, like caught on camera. Uh, I have sessions where I'll come in and start talking shit to absolutely no one. Like I'll start referencing people that like don't exist. <laughs> I'll start saying, I'll start saying shit like they keep like just that simple shit of like they keep playing with me. It's like who's they? Like who's who's playing with me? You know what I'm saying? But it's like motivating. Uh, and it's just like kind of fun to come here and talk my shit. And uh, like I said earlier before we got into the actual gym, 365 pounds has become rep work. Like I hit that for three sets of five and there's still, I could have maybe done like 375 or something like that. So like when I look back to my last prep, 365 was damn near a single. Like I was hitting that for maybe like doubles or triples. So to hit that now for a set of five, that's really easily, is something that's really cool to me. So right now we're about to annihilate shoulders. Um, I want to I want to completely destroy my shoulders. I want to have a good workout. It's like one of those days where everything's clicking. I have the energy to work out. I'm in the mood. So let's go ahead and smash shoulders. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this uh, video. And I'll catch you guys after the workout. What is going on, guys? Joey here, and we are here today to talk about why Russ's bench has been coming up so much. Seemed like you guys really liked the last one, so we're back. Russ, thank you once again for letting me come on here. Uh, and give me the chance to kind of spread some knowledge and give some people uh, insight to your training. So, um, why has Russ's bench gone up so much? Well, uh, one one reason could potentially be that he changed his grip. Many moons ago, I had suggested to Russ that we try a wider grip because, you know, just looking at him, I saw that he had very long arms. I think we tried it for a little bit, but he said he felt more comfortable um, I think it's just one finger space in from what I had originally suggested. Uh, so we kind of ran with that for quite a long time. And then I believe it was after this last Nationals, um, or maybe just before he decided to move his grip out. I'm pretty sure it was after Nationals. He moved his grip out. And what that does is, you know, let's say we get a lot of work done and we're able to build a nice base using a closer grip whenever we move that grip out. Um, we are going to see, uh, you know, one, if the leverage is superior, so he, he's going to be lifting more weight. Two, um, it's almost like, you know, he had restraints on, and now we're sort of uh, letting him use the grip that allows him to show his potential, uh, use the most amount of muscle that he can. I always say you want to use the grip and the stance that allows you to use the most amount of muscle for you. Sometimes, for some people, they may... You know, some people might may just have giant arms, super strong triceps, like their triceps way overpower their chest. You know, speaking in a relative power powerlifting sense, um, so they're just gonna have a great close grip flat back bench. Um, it's different for everyone, um, but you know, Russ seems to feel more comfortable with this wider grip. Like I said, we used that closer grip for a little while. Move to the wider grip, we're getting a little bit better of a response. Um, we're going to talk about D and resensitization uh, in a second here. Um, you know, another point that I have is that he has very good technique and he has a ton of muscle. Russ doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses. 
in terms of muscularity. Um, that's going to allow, allow him to control the weight better in combination with the wider grip. His hands are going to be closer to the plates, uh, which is just going to lead to more control, less uh, sort of power leak or like l leakage of uh, uh, potential force that could be pushed into the bar. Um, as of late, I just took a look at Russ's training and I'm actually pulling down, uh, not at the moment, but last couple of weeks I was pulling down the volume on bench, which is going to allow his strength to kind of show up some. So if you guys are seeing him hit anything substantial in the last couple of weeks, that's probably why. Uh, another reason that may not be as obvious as gaining and losing weight. Um, he gains weight in the off season and he drops weight down closer to competition. He'll get up to like 195. I, I don't know if he's actually got the 200 pounds in the off season, but, um, you know, we'll slowly trickle down from, you know, around 195 to about 187, 189, something like that, which is a striking range for the water cut. Um, and when, by gaining and losing weight like that, that allows you to kind of put on some muscle while you're in that surplus and then we're going to try to maintain as much of it as possible also when he was in that surplus I think I had him benching four times a week uh, so not only is he eating more food but that more you know more nutrients are going to go towards the bench press and we can kind of take advantage of the surplus right you want to train hard if you're eating a lot otherwise you're just going to gain bad weight um, another reason for his bench success is the training split and nutrient allocation um, the way I have his training split set up, we start the week off with bench press. That means we're coming in off of a rest day. Um, he's completely fresh, uh, aside from the prior week's fatigue from training. But, you know, there's no big squat or, or deadlift or anything that's, like, going to compromise um, his his priority one bench day. If you guys saw my previous videos, I talked about priorities and training days. So his training split is allowing, to, allowing us to kind of focus on bench a little bit more. Um, this has to do with, you know, just superior nutrient allocation. And the last point I kind of want to touch on is D and, D and resensitization. Um, I don't really hear people talk about this too much. Uh, but essentially, if you do something for too long, it's going to kind of become stale. Um, so what I like to do is ramp them up four times a week, firing on all cylinders, and then pull that back down to three times a week, kind of allow his recovery to catch up. Um, and sometimes what happens is you end up uh, reaching a new plane. You're at a higher, you know, level. You literally level up. Um, now I have the option if I if I want to, I can bring back in for maybe even five times a week. I highly doubt I would ever do five times a week for us, but I could do that just to kind of really, um, you know, just essentially work the bench. And this is also going to help him refine his technique. And then I can pull it back down, and uh, you know, his bench will come up. I tried to keep this short, so you know maybe I'll do a video on this uh, in more detail later. Russ, thank you again for having me come on here. I hope you guys are able to take something away from that, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>